Hey everybody, this is example number three for structural analysis of deflections and slopes for beams using the virtual work method. The problem statement that we have is we're asked to find the slope at support A and the displacement at the midpoint, point C, for the simply supported beam shown below using the virtual work method. And EI, Young's modulus times the moment of inertia is constant. So here is our simply supported beam. We have a uniform loading of, of 10, kip per, 10 kip per foot, and we call that W. And the total length is equal to 5 feet plus 5 feet, so that's 10 feet. And we'll call the length L. And we need to find the slope at support A and the deflection at the midpoint, point C. Before we proceed to the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. Here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. If you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as, well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our simply supported beam problem. The first thing we need to do is establish a coordinate system. So we need to establish an appropriate coordinate system that is valid within regions of the beam where there is no discontinuity of real, of real or virtual loads. So because this is a simply supported beam with a uniform loading, there is no discontinuous loading. So we'll just need one coordinate system. And it's going to be going from support A, going from left to right. Next, we need to calculate the reactions at the supports. And so we have pin support at A and roller support at B. So it's going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be the total load, W times L divided by 2. That's the reaction, the vertical reaction at A and B. And the horizontal reaction is 0 at A. Next, we need to evaluate the real bending moment function, the internal bending moment function using the same coordinate system as uh, using the same using the coordinate system that we ju that we've just established so here's our uh, simply supported beam with the vertical reaction at a and b and we just take an arbitrary cut at location d and here's what we have we have our vertical reaction at a and we have this loading W, and then we have an internal bending moment, and then shear. So we just simplify this even more, and we have the, we take the same segment, but now we have the resultant loading, and the resultant loading is just equal to the uniform loading value times x, and it acts at a distance of x over two from the cut location D. And now we take the moment about location D. And this way, we can get the internal bending moment function as a function uh, as a function of the coordinate system x. And we find that the internal bending moment function is equal to, uh, so we have negative W L over 2. That's a vertical reaction at support A times a moment arm x. And again, uh, clockwise is negative and counterclockwise is positive plus w x which is which is the resultant load times moment arm of x over 2 plus the internal bending moment so the bending moment function is equal to w times l times x over 2 minus w x squared over 2 
After this, now we're going to apply a virtual unit couple at support A. So we're going to take a look at the trying to find the slope at A. So first we have to apply a virtual unit couple at support A and get the internal virtual moment function for this. So since we're trying to find the slope, we're going to place a unit couple and with this virtual unit couple in place and all the real loads removed from the beam, we're going to calculate the internal virtual moment as a function of the coordinate system. So we have this virtual unit couple and we have vertical reactions at A and B. So let's first calculate the reactions at A and B. So we just take moment about location B and we find that the vertical reaction at A is equal to 1 over L. And then, based on equilibrium, the vertical reaction at B will be equal and opposite. So it's also 1 over L. Now we're going to take an arbitrary cut on this beam at location D. Okay, And so now we have an internal virtual moment. We have this vertical reaction at A and then we have this virtual unit couple so we take moment about the cut location location D so here's what we have negative 1 which is a virtual unit couple plus 1 over L times X plus the virtual a virtual moment internal moment so the virtual internal moment function is equal to 1 minus X over L And now we can apply the virtual work equation and solve for the slope at support A. So here's our virtual work equation. 1 times theta A equals the integral of the virtual moment function times the real moment function divided by EI. And 1 here is the uh, virtual unit couple. And theta A is the slope that we're trying to find. So here's what we have, and so we have one kip foot is the unit couple, and then we took the EI outside of the integral because it's constant, and then we just plug in the virtual moment function and the real moment function inside the integral, and we just multiply it through and integrate. So we have WLX squared over 4 minus WX cubed over 6 minus WLX cubed over 6L plus WX to the fourth power divided by 8L. And the limits of integration are from 0 to L. So we just plug those in. And then we get that it equals WL cubed over 24EI. So the slope at A, once we plug in the numbers for W and L, the length, W is 10 kip per foot and L is 10 feet. So we get that theta A equals 416.67 divided by EI. And so because it's positive, this tells us that the direction that we've applied the virtual unit couple is, is the direction at which the actual slope is. It's the same direction as the, as the actual slope. Now that we've solved for the slope at support A, now we'll take a look at the displacement at the midpoint. So to find the displacement at the midpoint, we first have to apply a virtual unit load at that, at that location and get the virtual moment function. So here is our simply supported beam. We applied a virtual uh, unit load at location C. And so whenever you're, you're applying the virtual unit couple or load, you apply it at, that, at the location of interest in the direction that you're trying to find, in the direction of the desired displacement. And so based on simple statics, we can see that the vertical reaction at A is just going to be equal to 1 divided by 2. And the same thing for B. And then we take an arbitrary cut at location D. 
So here's what we have. We have our vertical reaction at A, and then we have this internal virtual bending moment. And so we take the moment about location D, and we find that the internal bending, virtual bending moment is equal to 0.5x, or x over 2. So, so with this in hand, now we can apply the virtual work equation and solve for the displacement at C. So here's our virtual work equation. We have our unit load times the displacement we're trying to solve for equals the integration of the virtual moment function times the real moment function divided by EI. And so we're going to simplify this or modify this a little bit. Instead of integrating from 0 to L, we're going to integrate from uh, 0 to L over 2, but then just multiply it by 2. And the reason we're doing that is because if we look at our we look at our virtual unit load and so from A to C we're gonna have uh, so our moment from A to C is gonna be a moment function we have one moment function that applies from A to C and then we'll have to write another moment function that applies from C to B but since they're symmetrical we can just instead of writing two different virtual moment functions we can just do two times the integration from 0 to L over 2. Okay? And then also we just move the EI outside because it's constant. And now we just plug in the numbers. Um, we just plug in the values for the virtual moment function and the real moment function. And we simplify it. So we have to integrate w, w times L x squared over 4 minus W x cubed over 4 from 0 to L over 2. So here's what we have after integration, W L x cubed over 12 minus W x to the 4th divided by 16. And we integrate from 0 to L over 2. And we just plug in the numbers. And we find that it equals... 5 times W L to the 4th divided by 384 EI. And now we can just plug in the values for the load and the length. And we find that the displacement at C equals uh, 1302.08. And so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out the uh, website. It's engineeringexamples.net. And please like the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineeringexamples. Thanks.